Oh, whoa. What, what is our Rastafari contingency plan in this 2012, 2012 and beyond, 2012 to 2020? What about 2013? What about 2014, 2015? You know what I'm saying? What are the prophetic signs, you know what I'm saying, that Jah has already given us, you know what I'm saying, such as within the Fikari yes, you know what I'm saying, and we already know some of the other prophetic signs and so-called portents. It's interesting, as I mentioned before, that Nibiru, Nibiru is spoken of in the Fakari Yesus. And we're going to touch on that as well, but we're going to come out with, this is the Amharic only one, and they're going to come out with the, um, the translation and interpretation, a raw translation and interpretation. Now, we were in Ephesians chapter 5. Now, we know that chapter 6 deals with um, um, the spiritual warfare. Mm -hmm. And it deals with putting on the full armor. I find that the book of Ephesians is a very, very important book for I and I's Rastafari. And I hope we um, take the time and the opportunity individually and in community, common unity with other brothers and sisters speaking more churchically, you understand, to study it, to reason on it, you understand, because we were at verse um. We began off focusing on verse 16 in Ephesians chapter 5, verse 16, which says, Redeeming, redeeming, right? Redeeming the time because the days are evil. Well, we're in 2012. We can see that we're in evil days. You know what I'm saying? And one question that was asked by uh, a brother in that we felt that was necessary to rebuke on certain errors of doctrine. Some of you all know about that, but it's not so much, um, okay, he say, she say, that's what the king of kings say, you understand? And one important point that was made was that what is Rastafari, you know, are we looking for his majesty to return again? Some might be, and let's be honest, there was a time when I was thinking like, okay, maybe that's what's supposed to happen. But I just start to study and learn and grow in the word. And, and seek to make my will obedient to His Majesty, to good influence, and to grow in the knowledge of Yeshua, of Jesus Christos, and to and to practice and to do it, 